Mr. Honor Abraham made a report that sometime in the month of September 2023, a handwritten letter was dropped at his wife's shop with the inscription, leave Abuja immediately. They are after you. There is a big hit on your family. Take your kids and run. Just a warning. End of quote. This had prompted him to take his family and relocate to his sister's-in-law's place, but the threat continued and even received a message from an unknown number asking him to sell his house and leave Abuja immediately or risk being kidnapped. On sensing the severity of the matter, he filed a legal report and the operatives of First Intelligence Department, STS, quickly strong into action and arrested one Edu Divine, tw female 27 years of age. Investigation revealed the suspect as a close family friend and neighbor of the complainant and that she had initiate, initially collected the sum of 14 million naira from him under the guise of reporting a crayfish business with the promise of investing it on his behalf in his business and returning it with profit. She had earlier done same to several other people under the same guise and after lavishing the obtained sum of money and realizing she could not pay back, she decided to defraud the complainant to pay the people she had hold. She had falsely obtained an estimated sum of 24 million naira, and upon realization of her inability to pay back, she started to scare tactics to drive the complainant out of town so he could not request for the money back. She had even advised him to go ahead and sell the house as suggested by the supposed anonymous text after he had told her about the threat and the text. Beware of family friends. They could be dangerous. Divine. Now, wow. Tell us your name. My name is Divine Afoke. Where are you from? I'm from Delta. Where in Delta? Uwe. Who? Uwe. 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 How old are you? I'm 27. Are you married or not? I'm married. When did you get to Abuja? 2020. 20? 2022. 2022. Yeah. What brought you to Abuja? Marriage. I came with my husband. Where is your husband? For now, I don't know. You don't know? Yes. Before you were arrested? When he got to know of what happened, he, he, he been fled. Upset. No, he didn't run. He didn't know anything about upset. what was happening. Yes, was sir. he not aware of all these your tactics? No, sir. What have you been doing with the money you have realized over? Almost 30 million you are demanding. You are talking of 30 million. What have you done with the money? Okay. At first, it, I took it for the purpose of business. But when I couldn't meet up, I used it to pay people that I have already told that I would give them their interest. This man, they said, is a family friend that you know him and you are a neighbor to him. Yes. What led you to these tactics to obtain money from him? Why? I took it at first for the purpose of business. But since it didn't work out, I didn't know what to do again. So you actually now did that so that he can run away, so that he will not remember the money again. Isn't it? Yes, sir. Is that good enough? It's not good, sir. As a Nigerian, as an African man, why must you do that to your neighbor and a family friend? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Well, that's another lesson for all of us. Keep to your immediate family, oh, not to move your friend up and down. Your wife, your children don't do you. If you get siblings, he do you. But this one, you say, my neighbor, my neighbor, my neighbor, my neighbor, everything, my neighbor. I think you can see now. Ada, question. Number one, I don't see them online. They are people that I know. All of them are your friends and yes, not people to you. Friends, yes. And I just speak to them, and they didn't give me the money once. It was in bits. The man stays around. We don't have any sexual relationship. No, no, I didn't. What did you do with the money? No. Like I said earlier, 
He is not the only one that I started the business with. So I had to pay people that I had already promised interest. The man we are talking of money 30 million. What did you do with this money? Before you repay debt, what did you do with the money you got from them? In the first instance. You cannot answer this question. Maybe you have you are building houses? No. What did you do with the money? Humanitarian service? No, no, not humanitarian service. No. You want to tap her? No. Anyway, that's all right. Thank you, thank you.